What's up, Seller M Nation? This is Miles, and in today's video, we're going to jump inside my screen and we're going to source some live seasonal products for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, talking all about how to best prepare for the seasonal times of the year. That certain products really spike up in demand and spike up in price. And we're going to look at how to source those specific examples of and how we integrate Seller M to help you make more profit in the whole process of sourcing items. Let's get right into my screen. Starting off, we're going to take a look at this kind of weird looking Halloween product. Right here, we can see the BSR is 35K looking at the seller amp right here. So this is moving very slow. I would not recommend taking a look at this um, because there's not going to be enough volume. But that is outside of the seasonal opportunity with it, where if we scroll down here on the Keepa and we go to the year chart, we can see, look at what happens just during uh, right on Halloween time, late September, October everything like that, how low the sales rank goes, and then how high it can be other days right here. And so I'm not saying this is necessarily a great product to do seasonally. It's more so the ideology in that we can see that on certain stuff, the demand goes way, way down um, and everything right here. So we can see that as of right now, there's only a couple people on it, but the offer count goes way up during October when everyone wants to sell it and the demand goes way up. So you can make a bunch of money selling this potentially, assuming you can find it uh, profitably right here. See in terms of what the competition is at seller amp wise. Yeah. So this guy's 45 in stock merch filled and three in stock. And he has a bunch of a uh, bunch of reviews right here. Curious in the keep uh, what the buy box share looks like over the year long. So we can see, yeah, see a bunch of different people got sales on this at, uh, at a bunch of varying review counts. Um, as well, we have the into the Google Sheets integration with Selleramp. You could set up like a holiday one specifically and uh, export everything to there right here within Google Sheets on Selleramp. Definitely an underrated feature of our tool right there. And so now, in terms of finding out other ones, to then go off of we can check out so frequently bought together these ones and then open up a uh, product related to this item open up these as well here at the bottom in the recommendations check take a look at a couple of these on wow, eight foot inflatable right here and check out if we can find some other opportunities on this stuff let's get this uh loaded up right here and see 158 in stock and fba so, so I, I have strong hopes for this right here yeah same exact thing check that out how low that uh how low that rank goes during the holidays right there i'll check out some of these other ones 18 BSR 22K, 81 sales a month. Right here, this one. Oh, it's just barely been around long enough, but same thing. Halloween, demand goes way up right there. This one's pretty cheap. No sales rank, which is, I actually sell a lot of stuff that's no sales rank that other people stay away from right here. This one doesn't have, hasn't had a sales rank for a while, but when it did back in like 2015 right here, 2016, we can see every Halloween demand goes way up right here. So it's pretty interesting looking at the way seasonality affects these different products. It can be the kind of thing where there's not gonna be a lot of replenishability, but you can take your chances on stuff. Potentially some of these items right now, there's gonna be hundreds to look through in the products related using seller to take a look at some of these other sellers, what they're, ca what they're carrying, right? This was, I think it was, yeah, this one was a, a pretty, yeah, this inflatable right here. Is there a bunch of people on? Okay, only one guy on it right here. Let's see only one on it as well so the uh holiday right here this person looks like they carry a lot of uh, a lot of holiday uh, related items right so we can come back to this. yeah all different types uh all different types of stuff right here and this is probably the brand direct so this probably isn't a good thing it's all specifically at least that one but were people reselling it uh no okay it was these other ones yeah so we'll get that out of here and um yeah, there's a bunch of offers on this one. I don't think currently there is. Oh, there actually are. There's a bunch of people potentially drop shipping it right here. Uh, seller ramp right here. Yes, guys. Okay, so he's probably, well, he was FBA. Other people were probably drop shipping because they were FBM now. Right here. So it's a pretty interesting example. And then now, not only from the recommendations of the other holiday products on this one as well, there's lots of good opportunity to go take a look at uh, Go take a look at other stuff right here. Hopping in, taking a look at some Thanksgiving oriented products right here. We can see these are 15 bucks. The BSR is way too high. I assume it's for category. It's in yeah, health and household right here. Taking a look at the price history. We can see the three months. It is uh, pretty boring. Keep a chart to be honest. If you go to the year, 
However, we can see during Thanksgiving, right in mid-November, demand goes way up, sales rank drops a lot right here. That's a beautiful example. And then even more cool, looking at this, this has been around for, I mean, like over four years at this point. We can see what happens to the rank in November 2017, November 2018, November 2019, right here, and so on and so on. So it's literally every single time. And the offer count spikes up because some people are smart and they're only selling it that time of year right here. And it's pretty interesting an example of this hopping in the data offers coming over here to the first scene within Keepa. We can see all these guys have been on it for a while and they all have pretty good review counts outside of this guy who's even he's been on it for seven months or was first seen in it seven months ago. So it shows that there's decent uh, potential and that people are coming back to this every year. Right. So we can do the same. We can open up a bunch of these uh, bunch of these listings right here and see. Let's get like Halloween colored right here. Yeah. or Thanksgiving color, well, kind of Halloween colored as well. Over here, same deal, not as drastic. People don't seem to like these as much. Yeah, this is an interesting example where it didn't happen so much, but looking at the offer count, there's just no supply. There wasn't really an opportunity to. Uh, right here on seller ramp, BSR 140. Uh, let's see how long this has been around for. Doesn't really happy on, happen on, uh, on this one as well. Yeah, it's not going to happen on uh, not going to happen on everything. Definitely, if you uh, took the time, there would be able to find a lot of good opportunity on uh, on this stuff. Yeah, same thing with this one. Sales rank. Okay, it happened in twenty twenty, but not necessarily uh, twenty twenty one because there was no supply. That's the key. Here, take a look. This one's really cheap. Yeah, so mainly. It's mainly going to be, right, for example, you'd find this brand. Go look at other stuff in this brand right here. Like, was there anyone on it? Yeah, okay, this is a good example we can open up with in SellRamp. Here. Let's see, can I command that? Brand eFast, okay. We got so only one. Let's see, eFast only one as well. eFast one. Okay, eFast must be a pretty not common brand, as we can see from only a few people being on these different listings. The uh, mother of all seasonal opportunities is toys during Q4. This is a pretty interesting example as well. I pick Lego specifically because Lego is basically released in like uh, pods and like series essentially. So like 41391, there's also 41392, 41393, 41394, all those. Um, so there's other chances, like go look at those other ones as well, you know, after this and everything right here, we can hop in and see, keep up pretty steady, to be honest, um, turns this, but the big thing is that Lego has two year life cycles, basically. So on the year chart, we can see that, um, during the holidays, the demand spikes right here and Amazon sells out. So this is what I, what we played a lot of Warner and I played a lot last year was buying stuff from Walmart, Target, even Amazon in some cases that, Amazon then sells out during Q4 and there provides a huge opportunity on that. We can see exact same thing happened in December 2020 right here and that perfect two year time span that this was released right at the start of 2020 and then right at the start of 2022, Amazon's no longer out of stock. There's no more orange bars right there and that creates the opportunity then moving forward. And then textbook example, what we do to find other examples like this is find people with Decent review counts right here within SellerAmp and go ahead and take a look at what else they carry. Get examples of that, export that to those to Google Sheets and keep it rolling. So this is a good idea in terms of uh, using SellerAmp to find similar products to seasonal opportunities that we know are good and that every single year, some of these are, are pretty evergreen like those, uh, I think that Thanksgiving item had been around for like four years. It was every single year, November, sales rank dropped a lot. It's pretty interesting to see how uh, you know the Amazon algorithm and just consumer demand changes throughout the year um, and everything and how we can use SellRamp to then go out and source some items like we do starting from this one to find more seasonal opportunities. We can see there's tons of different ASINs right here, 37, right here, 40, Lego alone, and a bunch of other sellers on this as well. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to get a free trial of SellRamp linked below or at SellRamp.com. We'll see you guys next week for another video.